Adam Nimoy approached his father, Leonard Nimoy, uh, about doing a documentary about Spock, the, uh, Leonard's uh, legendary, iconic character from Star Trek. Uh, much to uh, Adam's surprise, he was, his father was on board and, and, and uh, more than happy to get involved. However, his one caveat was that he wanted this documentary to just focus on Spock himself and not Nimoy and his career and life. So what Nimoy wanted to do was explore Spock's impact on society, pop culture, and uh, fans' appreciation of that character the world over. Now, unfortunately, due to his untimely passing, uh, the, uh, the focus of this documentary shifted. Uh, Adam... Uh, took the opportunity to not just explore Spock, but he also wanted to explore his father, Leonard. And here we have, for the love of Spock, and this uh, love letter to his father, and his iconic legendary character, Spock, is a uh, relatively informative, but still uh, moving uh, testament to the man and his characters and his life. I say somewhat informed is because if you're a Star Trek fan or a Trekkie Trekker, I don't even know what to call us anymore, but of course I'm a, uh, a huge fan of Star Trek, um, there's a lot of information that this documentary covers that we already, as fans, know. And uh, there's really not that many surprises to be found in here. Um, as structurally, it's a pretty uh, straightforward uh, look at the uh, start of Star Trek until where we, until the present. And it kind of follows in the, the peaks and valleys of the history of Spock and, and, and Leonard Nimoy's connection with the character and, and Star Trek itself. And, um, and like I said, there's information that comes out that we probably hardcore fans know about, but maybe non, non-fans probably have no idea about. And uh, this, this documentary is a nice, I guess you could say, Cliff Notes version of Nimoy and, and his association with Spock and Star Trek. Um, what is most interesting about this documentary is, of course, the stories. The stories, especially the ones that are new to many fans, or just hearing uh, hearing uh, Leonard Nimoy's uh, fellow actors and friends uh, recount stories about uh, how they met, what they did, uh, and their uh, memories of them. Uh, we are, we're talking about many Trek dignitaries like you know, Shatner, uh, George Takei, uh, Nichelle Nichols, uh, Walter Koenig, and then from the uh, new seri- uh, series of films, Chris Pine, uh, Zachary Quinto, uh, Zoe Saldana, uh, uh, Carla Ban, and um, J.J. Abrams, uh, who directed uh, the first two Star Trek uh, reboots. And uh, they have some uh, interesting stories and in there, uh, some touching stories, and uh, like a, a great insight into uh, working with uh, Leonard. And, of course, the one who would have the most insight would be Adam Nimoy, who is the uh, director of this film. And he per- he lays it all out, while he doesn't reveal a, a vast amount of information about his life and his life with his father and the family. Uh, he gives just enough to show the impact that... that uh, pop culture and popularity and and fame has on a family. Um, I don't think, from what I recall, that I've never read any of uh, Nimoy's biography, autobiographies, so I don't know what the uh, actual impact of of, uh, of the fame had on the Nimoy family, but this one gives me an idea, the film gives you an idea of just that. And, um, and there are many great, great stories told, uh, especially from Adam Nimoy himself. And... Uh, Overall, for, for the love of Spock is a really well made uh, ode to a character, and an actor, and a father. And sadly, he is gone, but he was all, always remembered. And uh, this is a uh, this is a great way to remember him. So I would have to give uh, for the love of Spock four stars out of five. As a uh, hardcore Star Trek fan, uh, this is very enjoyable, very touching. And uh, for non-fans, this will be a intriguing and interesting documentary about uh, an a-, a famous actor and his family and the impact that his characters had on society. So, uh, for so on many ways, and this also even works as great family drama. And uh, so, on many levels, this documentary works quite well. So, for the love of Spock, four stars out of five. So, if you like this review, hit that like button below. 
Have you heard about For the Love of Spock? What did you think of Leonard Nimoy as an actor beyond Spock and his other characters from Mission Impossible or the uh, Body Snatchers remake? Uh, please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay on top of my reviews as they come in. So, until next time. Live long and prosper, my friends.